Cooper gave us the 21st century hood version of it. And they said it just is. what it is. There's a problem with the argument, however, when it comes to believers. First, there is a scriptural problem. For in the book of 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, the 17th verse, it says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away, and all things have become new again. And then there is another problem, a little bit more theological, and suggesting that I'm going to be in the future what I've been. And what I was is what I will be. Doesn't speak to what I was before I was. The statement doesn't go back far enough in my history. Because the word of God says, before I was formed and shaped in my mother's womb, God knew me. Before, before your mother ever carried you or conceived you, God had you on his mind. Before your mother ever met your father, before there was ever a spark of romance or whatever it was, God knew you. And so when you say that I'm going to be what I've been, which been are you talking about? what I've been through or who my being comes from. Paul said it this way, it's in him that I live, move, and have my being. This is significant because it helps us to understand our true identity. Because you're more than what you've been through. That God created you and formed you and knew you before your mother or your father ever thought about you. That you were all God's mind and, and the mind of God cannot be separated from the articulated word of God. And so from the very beginning, you were already in God's word. Before there was ever a word of slander spoken against you. Before there was ever a word that said you will never be. Before there was ever a word that said you would never be able to achieve. God already had you on his mind and there was a word that already formed and articulated who you are. Well, I need some Bible in uh, John chapter 1. It says that there was nothing that was created that was not created by the Word. And if you back that thing up a little bit, it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And so now you must recognize that not only are you on God's mind, but you are the living embodiment of the manifested Word of God. Uh, I need you to tap yourself and just say, I'm somebody in God.